welcome to another one of my videos. You can help support this channel by subscribing and liking and by grabbing one of my free ebooks. Today I am promoting Shades of Grey, an apocalyptic science fiction series. You can grab the first two ebooks for free. And I'm also promoting Monster of Monsters as it's just about to release its new ebooks starting tomorrow. So you can also read the first two ebooks of this series for free. Now to the video. In today's video, we are looking at one particular place that you can farm an Enclave plasma rifle. Now, I have not progressed in the story far enough with my one particular character where I can go into the bunker and actually try my hand at buying some of the Enclave plasma rifles. So I was thinking, I did remember someplace else where you could actually grab a plasma, an Enclave plasma rifle. So I'm going to show you that location now. And before I get to that, I should tell you that you do need to have accomplished the over and out part of the Steel Dawn quest line before you can start farming this location. Okay, now let's go to the map. The location we'll be going to is Transmission Station 1 AT-U03. It is just northwest of Vault 76 and south of the fairgrounds or that giant ferris wheel. So fast travel or just travel to that location if it's not already marked on your map. And once you arrive, you're going to see on the outside of the building a few mole rats. And once you reach the transmission station, you're going to be coming up to this hand scanner. And that's what's going to prevent you from going in if you have not at least started the over and out quest line. Now you really should have finished the over and out quest line before you start farming because well, it's a lot easier to farm the site once you've actually finished the quest line. And now I'm going to do a walkthrough on the fastest way to actually do the farming of this site. Now I am going to be using the sneak card to quickly farm this site as fast as possible. And the first location you're going to go to is through the green glowing arches. Now you will get irradiated so you might want to run through them. You're going to go and continue following the hallway all the way to this door. Like I said, you're sneaking now. Now, if you were going through the quest line, you actually have to do things and defeat certain enemies. So it's better to farm after you've done the over and out quest line. Now this room is actually a circle. So to get through this first room with the tubes, you're gonna go off to the right that light you see straight ahead and there's a door off to your right again not the door in front but this door right here now you're gonna need to uh, unlock it or use the terminal to your right to unlock the door so hopefully one of these skills you have uh, mastered though the skill setting is zero so you don't need any perk cards to do either one now this next room there is a um, a Scorch Mothman. Now I always go ahead and defeat it. You can try sneaking around it, but I just found it faster just to go ahead and defeat it and I just can't re resist actually taking it out. So the next direction you'll be going is down the ramp and over to the left through these next set of doors. And the door was in between the two um, tubes up these set of stairs to this next door. Go off to the right in this room to this door. There'll be a Coca-Cola machine and a milk machine, I believe. Now this is where you'll want to sneak if you want to do it quickly. There are some enemies to defeat in here, but I'm just going to completely ignore them. Go down the ramp and go over to this door right here. I'm going to continue sneaking. This room is actually empty. 
but the next door that you're going to enter is going to have another set of enemies and I'm going to ignore them again and go to this door that's before this set of stairs. Nope, turn around. Right there. Yes, right there. This room is empty. And this next room is where the death claw is. Now you can either take it out or I'm going to um, try to resist taking him out and go up the set of stairs to see if I can sneak and not let him see me. He'll be coming through those doors. I'm gonna go up here. Again, you need the card, which you need, which you would have gotten from completing the over and out. Now you could safely take them out from here. Okay, I could not resist. <laughs> Let's go loot him real quick. Now go up this set of stairs, and that door you saw at the very top of the stairs is the door you're gonna go through. And you just follow this hallway up to this next door and you've entered this room with a bunch of I think there's just one other door yep you gotta go back to that one door and go through it it's across the way from that uh, short circuited door so it's gonna be on your right you're gonna enter the kitchen don't eat the food if you remember because you had to have gone through over and out don't eat the food now there is a locked cage over here when I did it the first time all I found in it was a laser gun I didn't there is no unless it spawns something different there is no enclave plasma rifle so basically you just go straight through through this door down this set of ramp and this next area you're gonna to want to sneak through if you wanna do it quickly. I mean, you can take out the enemy. Now, I will tell you that any Scorch officer will have a Enclave plasma, plasma pistol. An Enclave plasma pistol. So any of the Scorch officers that you take out and any of the Scorch scientists have a possibility of having one of those um, shock batons, which those are interesting weapons. I've not actually used one yet but I saw that the damage on it is not that bad let me see if I have somewhere I can show you quickly here they are so here are a few of the plasma pistols that I took off one of my previous runs and here are the shock batons just so you have an idea of their damage and my level is a little over 200 so that you can do a comparison for your character level and while I'm at it, I'll go ahead and show you the um, Enclave Plasma Rifle that I was able to grab. It just has the standard equipment uh, mods. You'll want to maybe sneak through this next section. There are some more Scorch. Again, you could take them out. I'm just sneaking because it's a lot faster than dealing with the enemy. Though sometimes I can't resist, depending on the creature. You go down this set of stairs twice into the water to this door. There's some more scorch in this area. Again, I'm going to just sneak by them to save time. Go up to this next set of doors. Now I almost got caught that time. Now there are two sets of doors you can go through for this room. One was on the far right. They go up to these twin sets of stairs and we'll prepare because this next section is where you're going to get the rifle so I'm going to prepare there's usually one big boss and um, a power suit and a couple of the scorch now I forgot because I got booted out of the server to readjust my flamer and it's only shooting two feet so I gotta get really close the enemy I hate that getting booted out and I hate that I forget to go and adjust the flamer there is a way to fix it I'll throw up the link at the top here if you want to know how to fix your own flamers they shoot all the way and here's the guy in the power armor the scorch chief he's the baddie that you're after 
you take him out and he is going to have the Enclave plasma rifle on him. Now I've already done this three times to make sure that you can farm this spot and yes, every time you go in and take out this chief, he's gonna have this Enclave plasma rifle. Let me go loot the rest of these and then I'll show you the new rifle I just picked up. Now let's compare the two that I have. They're both a 45 because I'm over level 50, but they come with a standard setting on the mods. So, so far farming this spot, I have not come across a Enclave plasma rifle that has anything but the standard, but that way at least now you can grab an Enclave plasma rifle and do some legendary spins and then start looking for the mods for this particular weapon if you are unable to go into the bunker and purchase any. And that's why I did this video. I'm unable to go into the bunker and purchase any with this particular character. And I just wanted a way to grab a couple of these so I can do some legendary spins, man. Yes, let's get some good Enclave plasma rifles. And I've already started looking for the mods. So hopefully, yes, hopefully I'll find that really coveted flamer. I think it's called a flamer barrel. But anyway, this was actually one of my longer videos, but hopefully it was worthwhile for you. And that is it for this video. If you found it informational or helpful, don't forget to like and share. And until next time.